Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Putnam Valley. This is the Night Show. Hey, nah, this is the Night Not, not the Night Not, the Night Show. Recorded live in room 116. This is the Night Not, this is the. This is the Nine Show. The Nine Show. Hello, I'm Matt Robertson, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Nine Show. It's the first one of the year. We've got some cool stuff to talk about this week, including Guitar Club, Senior Parking Spots, and Bees. But first, next week on October 13th, the National Honor Society will be holding their first blood drive of the year. It will be held from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Wellness Center. If you have any questions, please see Simone, Gabriel, or Elizabeth Link. Also, upcoming is the Gynes Department's annual financial aid night on October 17th at 7 p.m. Come and bring your parents to learn more about ways you can pay for college. For more information, please see your counselor. We're lucky to have such a variety of extracurricular activities here at PVHS. One of the amazing clubs we have is Guitar Club. Matt O'Leary talked to Mr. Odell to learn more about the club and what they do. Take it away, Matt. It's Wednesday at Putnam Valley High School, and you know what that means. It's Guitar Club in room 236, the band room. So we're about to go talk to Mr. Odell and Mr. Kunz and see what's up with Guitar Club. All right, we're here with Mr. Odell. Yes, we are. We're here with Matt O'Leary. Yep. And he is like the, what would you consider yourself? Rock hero, guitar hero, or advisor of the Guitar Club, one of those three. Right. All right. So what is the Guitar Club all about? So the Guitar Club is all about guitars and uh, learning how to play the guitar or coming down here with friends and kind of jamming out and having a good time. Uh, the Guitar Club has been uh, here at Putnam Valley High School, I don't even know, for, for over a decade. It used to be a class and then became a club. Um, we have rolling membership. People come when they want. Some students come in with uh, no experience whatsoever and others come in like yourself, Matt, uh, who've been playing guitar a long time and want to come down here and jam with friends and have a good time. So uh, Guitar Club is uh, really about fun and, uh, and relaxation and learning and getting together and uh, trying, the, trying out the difficult yet highly rewarding uh, act of playing the guitar. And can students come in if they know nothing at all? Absolutely. We, uh, Mr. Kunz knows nothing at all, actually. And uh, he, he tends to, uh, he, he works with the beginners. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Uh, Mr. Kunz is my wonderful assistant. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, he works with a lot of our beginners. And you don't have to have any experience to come down and join if you want. All right. That's all we got. We spoke to Mr. Odell, and we saw what Guitar Club has to offer. So come to room 236 during lunch on Wednesdays after academic study to play guitar and have some fun. Thanks, Matt. That sounded awesome. On October 30th, the Putnam Valley Education Foundation will be hosting their annual Trunk or Treat in the middle school parking lot. The Education Foundation is looking for clubs and teams to get into the Halloween spirit and show off the, your creative side by decorating a car. If you would like your club or team to participate, contact the PBEF at the email address on screen. This is a great opportunity to get community service hours. Speaking of cars, I'm sure you've noticed the amazing senior spots we have this year. We talked to some seniors about their parking spots and how they came up with the designs. Let's take a look. Hi, my name's Joan, and today we're going to go look at some parking spots in the high school parking lot. What's your name? Donald. What's up with your parking spot? Um, it's a self-portrait of me. It's a wanted poster. So, that's the fitted. I have it on right now. You know what I'm saying? Word. And then, oh, uh, you know, I'm worth a lot of beans. If you guys watch One Piece, this is, where, this is where I got it from, you know, the wanted poster. 
at first I was just gonna do like the wanted poster, like the original one, and then I was like, I'm just gonna draw me instead. Alright, thanks no. Donald. Thank yeah, you. no problem. Yeah. Glad you like my spot. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Alright, um, what's your name? Simi G. And uh, what's up with your parking spot? My parking spot says Simi, and it also says MMB because that's 2005 in Roman numerals. And then it also says class of 2023 in Roman numerals. And did anything like inspire your spot? What was the original idea that w made you want to paint this? Um, this was what I had like as like a kind of like a logo thing for my birthday last year. So like I figured I might as well just use it again. Yeah, it's really cool. And is there a reason you used um, Roman numerals, or was it just like you know, a little funny thing you wanted to do? <laughs> um, like, since my nickname is Simmy, I realized that MMV looks like Simmy when I put a line underneath the V. So like, yeah. That's really cool. Thanks, mom. No problem, Joan. Anything for you. <laughs> what's your name? Mike McEwen. And uh, what's up with your parking spot? It is uh, the GOAT Kanye West album cover of Graduation. Because, uh, you know, senior year, we graduated. And like, is this your favorite album? Like, what's up with it? What inspired it? Uh, yeah, Kanye uh, inspires uh, my whole like outlook on life and just being yourself and not really caring what people say. And uh, I wrote, everything I'm not made me everything I am. Cause like, uh, you know, if you're not an athlete or if you're not this, you can get caught up in, in high school and all that. but. As long as you accept who you are, that's who, that's who you are. It's great. That's good. That is so valid. And do you personally think that this is one of the best parking spots in the entire uh, parking area? It is 100% the best parking spot. Uh, there's no competition. People try to copy me. People try to be like me. But they just can't succeed. But no shade. Like, no disrespect. All right. Thanks, Mike. Of course. <laughs> thanks, Joan. Those are some impressive spots. If only we got to paint our spots in the real world. Speaking of the real world, are you busy and stressed? Would you like to relax, clear your mind, have some fun? Then please join the Mind Over Matter Club, which meets every Friday at 1115 in room 316. The Art Club is having their ceramic fundraiser on November 5th this year in room 113 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please see Miss Armbruster with any questions or to RSVP. There's been quite the buzz in the high school lately. It's the bees. Joan talked to Mr. Spittle about the gorgeous garden we have on the high school grounds, complete with a pollination station. My name is Joan, and today we're going to be talking to Mr. Spittle about the garden in the back of the wellness center. What's your name? Dave Spittle. Dave Spittle, and what do you do in the Putnam Valley School District? Like, what is your job? Um, what do you usually take care of? I'm the director of facilities and transportation, and I also am in charge of the building projects, like when we built the wellness center and the addition to the, uh, to the middle school and the wellness trail and the garden and the courtyard, and I oversee the building of all that stuff. And is there anything that you prefer to grow? Like what grows in the garden? What's your favorite part of the garden? Yeah, if you have a favorite part? Well, I planted some sunflowers uh, from seed uh, when we started the garden in the, in the spring, um, but I just used one of the boxes. It's really whatever the students want to do, um, whatever they want. It's, uh, it's not my garden, it's yours. And as a student, who could you possibly go to, like a teacher or an administrator to talk to to possibly get involved in the garden? I would talk to Mr. Linhart to start with because uh, the environmental club that he runs is uh, using the garden right now and last spring they planted one of the raised beds with a pollinator garden but I'm sure there's other opportunities with some other raised beds uh, for vegetables or whatever other ideas you have but I would talk to Mr. Linhart about that. And you mentioned that there is a pollination station? It's a, a pollinator garden where they planted, uh, they researched uh, you know, what uh, flowers would be good to uh, attract bees and butterflies and they planted those and it really worked well. Over the summer I stopped by every day and saw a lot of, a lot of bees and butterflies in there. I'm Joan from The Nine Show and we just checked out the garden, talked to Mr. Spittle and the Environmental Club. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Joan. 
And a big thank you to Mr. Spittle, Mr. Lenhardt, and the Environmental Club for making all this happen. While the weather is nice, I encourage everyone to go and check it out. Last but not least, our most important announcement is that Color Wars will take place on Friday, October 21st. So get your shirts ready! If you are interested in helping film Color Wars, or making a commercial to air, there's still time. See Miss Schutz or Mr. Mahoney in the TV studio to learn more about how you can participate. Well, that's all for this episode of The Nine Show. I'm Matthew Robertson, and I'm hoping you have a great day. <laughs>